one leg is straight, and one leg has a kind of a bend to it. The weight is, you know, if we go down from here, it's definitely more over the screen left foot. So the straight of the screen left leg shows that it's kind of supporting a bit more of the weight. It's not fully supporting it, but it's mostly supporting it. And the bend here shows that there's just not as much pressure being put on this leg. There's not as much tension in it. So that, again, those are the sort of details that clue you into where the weight is, where the balance is, um, what the kind of potential for movement is. So, you know, starting pose. Now, it's very subtle, but there's a little anticipation. A slight move to the left, which further reduces the pressure on the screen right leg and opens up that possibility for movement. It also clues us in that something is going to happen. So part of opening up that, that door to movement is using the anticipation to open the door. So you want to move this way, so you anticipate the other way first and then go. When you're dealing with weight and opening up the ability to, to pick a foot up off the ground, that anticipation can be what you need to alleviate the pressure on this leg and have the freedom to move it however you want. So a little shift to the side, and then the foot can move. And then once, you can see once the sort of right here, the weight it's kind of right in the middle of the two feet. And that's the moment when you'll notice this foot here stops pivoting. Boom, now it's supporting. It takes the pressure, it straightens, and oh, the bend appears in the other one. And now the pressure's off, and you're, I'm free to pivot my foot. And there's a, another little thing that only when you're analyzing the, the reference and stuff that you would notice these kind of little details. But, you know, as I settle into this position, look at how the weight kind of drops down. And then look, so there's like a little bounce to it. And a little, another little minor foot adjustment. So as I sort of let the weight drop onto my hip, Look, we go from having that flat hip, and then I let that weight just kind of sink down, and the angle increases. We get that little bounce. Those are the kind of details that sell the weight, that sell that pressure on the leg, and that just make things look totally believable. Those are the nuances. That, that you look for as an animator to put those little details in so that the moves don't feel so generic, so obvious. And then, so we just did a little shift to one side. So we moved the weight from screen left leg, screen right leg. Now we have that straight, and we got that little bend, you know. Hips are up on this side. So we have that feeling that now this screen right leg is supporting the weight, this one less so. Showing that again with the hips, hips high on the supporting side. So we've shifted that weight from one side to the other. Now we're going to go into the turn. So because I'm already supporting the weight on this side, 
I'm, more, I'm already sort of free to pivot that foot around. If I do a little adjustment, and then again, right as soon as that weight crosses that line, this foot just stops moving. It's locked because it's supporting. It's got all that pressure on it. And once I cross that line, move my center of mass over that leg, boom, now I'm free to move the other foot and swing around. I kind of just pivot. Around, touch down, contact with the other foot, and then shift back and settle. So one thing to notice is that when I as I go from right here and I move across. So here's like sort of like my passing kind of position. Now my hips are here. And then I my next kind of key here, I'm sort of at a contact position. My hips are here. And I keep going. Now they're here. So you'll see there's always a progression in this direction. It depends on the reference what angle you're filming it from, how that's going to move. But one thing I often see uh, in people's first passes with this assignment is a sort of very disjointed move towards the side, where they sort of move from here to here, and then it kind of gets stuck in this place, and it spins around, and then it moves again afterwards. I'm always moving to the left, and then I shift back. And there's some little arcs, dips on the way over. See, I sort of step down and then up for a while and then drop my weight back down. And then down and kind of around and then settle to there. So there's definitely some arcs to pay attention to as well.